Welcome to your Daily Dose. My name is Robert. It's my pal Susan. And Susan has a very special best friend with her. That's Harriet. Hi, Harriet. <laughs> Hello there. Nice to be here. I, and it's just so much fun because I corralled Harriet earlier today to hang out with us on a jam. And now, this is what you get for and music. now I'm daily dosing. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> never know. Harriet, how do you know this lady next to you, first of all? What's that about? Oh, this lady and I connected 46 or 7 years ago at a barbecue that our um, husbands were invited to. And I didn't bring my baby that was only five weeks old. But this lady did. And so I made a beeline over to the lady wearing a, a front pack. And we've just been friends ever since. Because her husband said, you can't bring the kid, the baby. Right. This is an adult this, this function. Is a, this is a bunch of doctors and interns and residents and stuff. And Right. So our poor neighbor, we brought over a playpen. We brought over a high chair. We brought over like half our house to our neighbor to watch our baby for a couple hours. And then I just go there and I, <laughs> here's this woman just very easily wearing a, a front we are wearing a baby, a baby carrier, right? Your baby. I love it. <laughs> wearing a baby. It, yeah. So the kids have known each other their entire lives. And uh, a few years ago, we had a three generation um, reunion getaway with us and then those two kids that were babies then and then they both had daughters who were about seven or eight years old <laughs> yeah that was a lot of fun yeah yeah when you see your lives reflected through each other for this long of a period of time what do you see what starts to happen because you're you're clearly connected uh through like you said multiple layers multiple levels multiple generations what, what happens? Today's the day. What happens as you reflect your lives to each other? The level of um, feel, feeling heard and seen and understood and known is off the charts. It's a given that as old friends that a lot is known. But in this case, there's so much trust. Um, we can just share anything and do and we do and and you know life is a journey mm -hmm. and it takes us in unexpected places and i can't think of anyone that mm -hmm. i would rather share my <laughs> ins and outs and my good times and bad times yeah. and my journey with. yeah because and we so, both yeah. have uh chronic neurodegenerative <laughs> Dege Dege yeah right the stuff they're which, different which do not define us heck no well, you mentioned the word journey, Harriet, which I think is inherently where one of the reasons Susan and I are connected, right? Yeah, our our friendship has been a, a, an interesting journey in and of itself. And, you know, we are connected via Parkinson's, but we're so much more than that. That's like a secondary thing, you know, uh, not a tertiary thing at this point. Um, life being a journey, when did you decide it was that? Or do you remember coming to a conscious decision about saying, because I think there's real power in, in looking at life, especially with challenges, which we all have, we just don't identify them necessarily, but saying, you know what, life's a journey and I'm going to accept rather than refuse the ones that are difficult. When was that? When did you decide it was a journey for you? Do you remember that moment, Harriet? That you said, life's oh. a journey. Um, well, probably for me, accepting that life is a journey. When I had my diagnosis of MS, mm, I would say. Really? Yeah, I would and, say. And she was just on the verge of getting married. And mm. for the second time, I mean, <laughs> for my last, to my last husband. So, <laughs> so um, but I remember he, he, or you said to him, you don't have to do this. Well, no, I did not know I had MS. Um, I knew I was losing vision in my, one of my eyes and I'm, and I didn't know it, but he spoke to a physician at his company and, and the physician said, there's a good chance your fiance has MS. And uh, I had hooked up with a neurologist and they were gonna do um, tests when I came back, but they, I didn't know why. And, and um, it was just to discover what was the problem with my eye. And then it turned out 
A, my vision returned, and and B, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and B, it was MS, and my husband knew and never shared with me. He he carried that burden, and 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 said yes, and, and, and said yes anyway. Yeah, so, he said that. <laughs> yes, and he said that. It was, we're about at time. I just want to highlight a word I heard in there along with journey, which was discover and the discovery uh, to allow yourself to, it just sounds like you recognize there's stuff bigger than me at play here. There's there's what I want life to be and then there's what life's going to be. Right. And I, it sounds like there's some freedom in calling life a journey. Well, and the other pieces, I get to decide what I do with this diagnosis, is it going to encompass all of me? I know of people where, you know, their affliction is who they are. Right. And, and I knew that, you know, there's so much more to me than just, <laughs> you know, what I'm diagnosed with. So I just made a conscious decision. It was, it was, I was going to pay attention and get help where I needed it, but I was going to just live my life. Yeah. 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 Which involved music and kids and family and, and friends yeah. and friends yeah perfect let's leave it on the friends you guys are perfect you're beautiful thanks uh, so much for being here <laughs> <laughs> this is your daily dose we'll see you on the next one great to be with you, you. Thank you.